Look at that. The empties bag is getting very full and a little overflowing, like I'm having to stuff stuff in there. So I'm going to show you the products I've used up recently and give you my thoughts on them, whatever I purchase. You know what an empties video is. Here we go. So first thing I used up is the L'Oreal Infallible, um, let me set that down. Makeup Extender Setting Spray. This stuff is really good. I didn't used to like it that much because the sprayer is not that good. Some of the droplets will come out like actual drops and you could see little water blobs on your face. It'll dry in a watery ring. It's really strange. But I was pouring this into an, an empty Urban Decay spray one and that sprayer is really, really good. So I started liking this more when I changed out the sprayer. Would repurchase. I like it a lot. Um, this is a body wash from Boots Extracts, Brazil Nut. It was fine enough. Got the job done. Did what a body wash does. Didn't strip my skin, but it was not moisturizing at all. Wouldn't purchase this again. It was good for what it did, though. Um, one, oh my god. My favorite body lotion ever, ever, ever is also from Boots Extract, and it's the Almond Body Butter. This is one of the small tubs. This just... Oh my god. It just smells perfectly like almonds, like that sharp, sharp scent. Moisturizes are really good. You can wear your jeans on top of this and it doesn't feel like you're suffocating. I freaking love that lotion. I used up from... I always thought this was Oracacia, but I feel like it's Oracasha or Keisha. Uh, it's one of their foam bath um, little packets you dump in the bath. Creates a lot of bubbles. Smells really good. I really, really love that. Would definitely buy that again. Uh, used up in Aveeno Daily Moisturizing Lotion. Really like this for my hands, and that's it. I find anywhere else in my body that I use this, it's way too much. It's too thick. It feels like um, plastic or something on your skin. But for the hands, it's great. It has, a, I think, dimethicone in it. Yeah, and it's 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 good. It leaves your hands feeling really nice and soft. Um, this is another Boots Botanics. They make some good stuff. This is the Cleansing Foam Wash, all bright. This is good. Washes your face off well. Doesn't irritate my eyes. It does. Ha it smells like soap. It feels a little stripping sometimes. And I know they recently redid the packaging. So would I buy it again? Eh, maybe. It's good though. Oh my god. One of my favorite shampoos ever, ever, ever right now is from L'Oreal. It's the Extraordinary Oil Nourishing Shampoo. I also use the conditioner. I think this stuff is awesome. If you have really, really thin or fine hair, I think it might do like weigh it down a little bit. For me, I kind of like that it does that because it kind of like it tames all the frizz. It keeps your hair soft, weighs down the poofiness if your hair is really poofy. So I would repurchase that till the day I die. I love it. I uh, used up one of my other favorite lotions from Lubriderm. This is the normal, normal skin daily moisture fragrance free. That's very important. This stuff is awesome. Would have purchased that forever as well. Um, I got this in a Sephora play box. It's from Way. It's the um, treatment mask. It's for your hair. I didn't like this when I used it in the shower. I didn't like the way my hair felt when it was wet when I got out of the shower. As it was drying, I didn't like it. But after it dried and I was just feeling my hair, it was so freaking soft. This made my hair feel amazing when it dried. As it was wet in the shower, I thought it was horrible. And it... It's, it's definitely something that's not a treat. It's a treatment. It doesn't have a good smell. It smells like a perm or something, uh, but it's a treatment for your hair. I really like that a lot. Another one of those body butters from Boots Extract. I tell you, they're amazing, and this almond one is the sheet. I used up the Studio 35 Intensive Hand Cream. This is the Walgreens brand of O'Keefe's hand stuff that they do. Um, this stuff was really good. I used it fast. I really liked it a lot. Uh, finally, finally used up this Ulla Hendrickson um, Truth Cream Advanced Hydration Face uh, Lotion. I thought this was okay. Moisturized well enough. Had a nice citrusy scent. I have other things I want to go through though. Um, so, eh. It was good, but I probably wouldn't buy it again. I have other things I like better. Uh, the Smashbox Camera Ready BB Cream I don't like this. Um, a lot of people really, really, really like this. It took me forever to use this up. All I smell on my face when I use this is sunscreen, which is fine. It has sunscreen. That's good, but I don't like it. I, I can't get it to work for my face. It's too oily looking. I do not like it. Um, this is a small Clarins primer. I liked that well enough. It was pretty good. Uh, these are two single uh, samples from Sephora. They're Express Eye Makeup Remover Wipes. These smelled like alcohol. 
they were kind they weren't the softest cloths in the world especially if they're for your eyes you would think they make them really soft they didn't irritate my eyes they took all the makeup off well enough but i felt i had to scrub it a little too much for my liking um i would definitely not buy those i used up this belief creamy cleansing foam moist face wash this is a face wash that literally makes your face squeaky clean. I can't stress that enough. Literally squeaky. When you go to rinse your face off, it's like ee, 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 ee. a little too intense for me. Um, but my face didn't feel dry afterwards. It was kind of strange. Like it felt like it was going to strip the crap out of my face, but it felt strangely soft at the end. So I thought, would I buy that again though? No. I finally went through this little beauty blender sponge. It was just not the same, so I had to get rid of it. Uh, I used up one of these sample sizes from the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, you know what? It looks like there's one more use left in here. I'm going to save this, but I'll tell you about it anyway. It's one of those small samples. There are several uses in here, though, so don't let the small size fool you. All of Peter Thomas Roth's masks are great. I would definitely buy that again. I used up this small Estee Lauder Advanced Night Repair Eye Cream. Freaking loved this. Absolutely loved it. I would absolutely buy that in a full size. I know it's expensive, but I would buy it. Uh, this Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer. I think this is one of the worst products I've ever used in my entire life. Ever, ever, ever. I hate this. It's awful. I really don't want, know why people like this. I think it's just so bad. So I put it, I tried this at least 15 times. I thought it was awful. Put it on. It's, it doesn't sink into your face. It sits on top of your face. It seems to like break up or something like it has a lot of oil in it. It was awful. I couldn't leave the house with it on. And no matter how many times I tried it, I, I had to wipe it off and put something else on. I hated it. Next Tinted Brow Mascara. This was good enough. I would not buy it again. It, the brush is too big for your eye, well, for my eyebrows. The brush is too big. It's almost like a mascara wand and I just made a mess with it. So it held the, the brows in place well and it had a nice tint to it, but a little too big of a brush and a little messy. <gasps> Gotta check the time on the way to work. Uh, Revlon Color Stay Eyeliner. Um, this stuff is good enough. Uh, I like things a little more. I have eyeliners I like a little more than this. It's really, really dry though. So I don't know if these just sit on the shelf forever and they're dry when you buy them or if they're just, that's just the way they're made because it's really dry. Like it almost hurts your inner rim when you're trying to put it on. Uh, this is a Kate uh, Rimmel Shadow Stick. Finally used that up. The little nib at the bottom got kind of dry, so I'm just going to toss it. This is a small Fakai Brilliant Glossing Conditioner. I think Fakai makes some outstanding hair care products. I really like this line. The glossing line is the best one that he does, in my opinion. I really love it. I would definitely buy that again. Um, one thing that I hate with all my heart is the L'Oreal Voluminous Noir... Um, liquid eyeliner pen. It's shaped like a triangle and I think that's really cool. I think I wish a lot of more brands would make their pens like that because it it's easy to hold. The tip is so scratchy though like it hurt. It's I could feel it scratching my skin when I was using it so this I would definitely not put on. As you can see I'm struggling to put the lid back on. They don't make the lid like universal on each side so you can only fit it one way and if you don't get it in enough with the eyeliner. Uh, another Peter Thomas Roth mini one. This is the Rose Stem Cell. This one was great. A mini Glam Glow mask. This was the Super Mud. That's a good mask. Uh, this Dr. Teal's Pure Foaming Salt Foaming Bath. Really like this. The scent is really, really manly and really strong. So you will smell like it when you're done though. This NYX Wonder Pencil. I hate this. I think it's so terrible. It is supposed to be like a multi-use kind of pencil. You can use it to outline your lips to do like a little nude thing, the inner rim thing. You could do it to spot conceal. I don't know anyone that would spot conceal with this. It, the shade is just really bad. It only comes in one shade. I do not like it, would not recommend. Uh, used up this Voluminous Miss Manga Mascara. This was a blue. Let me show it to you. I wish they still had these, like a regular, look how electric that looks. Really like this mascara. I like the formula of the Miss Manga and the blue was just a nice little perk. I hate this Urban Decay Eyeshadow Primer Potion. This is a really small one. It's completely separated. That's how I got it. I, it's too thin, too watery, too yucky. Do not like it. Pharmacy Skin Dew. This is a facial spray. The sprayer on this will poke, will put your eye out. It'll spray so intense. Like literally I sprayed it with my arm extended as far as it would possibly go. And even then it was so powerful. Like it was awful. Why did they put the sprayer like that? But the product was nice. It smelled really natural and green. I liked it a lot. 
this Super Goop eye cream. I really like this eye cream, and it had an SPF 37. I don't see enough eye creams with SPF in them, and it's definitely an area where we could use some SPF on a regular basis. There's like a rogue brush hair. I could feel it on my face. I really like this. It doesn't smell like sunscreen either. It's good. Uh, this is one of those Clinique Pep Start um, wipes where you push in the middle and then it pops out the wipe. These are pretty good. I would not repurchase those. It's a waste of packaging though. That hair, I could feel it right there. Uh, Maybelline Master Prime. Uh, this stuff was good enough. I used it up. I bought it a long time ago. Uh, it feels kind of like a moisturizer going on your face. I don't really, I don't really notice any sort of blurring. It does illuminate though, but it has a really strong like scent that I just can't get past. One of my favorite products of all time from Shiseido. This is the Ultimune Power Infusing Concentrate. They have this on Sephora right now for point perks. This stuff is so freaking good. I love it. I haven't had to purchase the full size yet because I keep getting samples. Uh, the CeraVe Moisturizing Cream. I hate this. It's too thick. Don't like it. I have a full size of this, but this is a sample that I used first from Amore Pacific, the Treatment Enzyme Peel. This is absolutely incredible. It has a nice, 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 light, light, light scent. It's a powder that you mix with a little water, make a little paste, rub it on your face, uh, let it sit there for a second, rinse it off. Ooh, your face will feel so baby soft. It'll be so clear. It's awesome. I really like that a lot. This is a disgusting product. It's Grande Lips um, Hydrating Lip Plumper. This stuff sucks. For one, it doesn't do anything. Two, it smells and tastes horrible. It sounds weird to say it tastes horrible because why are you tasting it? But it's on your lips right here. It tastes like chemicals. It's not worth the trouble. It doesn't do much or anything at all. I hate it. This uh, Josie Marin Argan Infinity Cheap uh, Cheek and Lip Oil. Like this a lot. I don't like it for my lips. It's a little too much. But for the cheeks, it was really nice and pretty. Cover Effects Illuminating Primer. Really, 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 really like this a lot. Would definitely buy that in a full size. Christophe Robin Mask. Hair Mask. Hated this. I hated the smell of this. I hated the way my hair fell. It never felt good at all. I used the whole thing up trying it. I absolutely hated it. Uh, the Belief True Cream Moisturizing Balm. One of my favorite moisturizers ever. Everybody loves this stuff. It's as good as they say. It's great. Definitely would buy it again. Uh, used up this Everyone Hand Soap. This is a winter mint. Really love this scent. I always appreciate hand soaps that have a scent that doesn't linger. Once I wash my hands, I don't want to smell perfume on my hands all day and get a headache. I really like that one. Uh, this is from number seven, one of my favorite products of all time. This is our Protect and Perfect Intense Advanced Serum. I will buy this till they stop making it. I think it, it improves your skin. I, I swear it made a difference. I really loved it. This is the Peter Thomas Roth. Um, this is the 24 karat gold mask. I feel like there's another use in here too. I'm going to hang on to that one. This one's awesome. It's kind of like a bougie little mask you put on it. It's completely gold and it tightens, it firms, it makes your face look incredible. I really like it. Almost to the bottom here. These are some simple micellar cleansing wipes. These are great. They're really soft. They remove everything without you having to constantly rub your face over and over. Use us some eye drops. I use eye drops every day. And holy crap, that's it. I thought I dropped something. That's it. Those are my empties. How long was that? Wow, 13 minutes of empties. Anyway, use up a lot of stuff. It makes me happy when I use stuff up because I do buy a lot of stuff, so I like to cycle through it, and it makes me happy to see things I've used up. And that's it. I'll see you in another video. Bye!